Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today we are back at Mount Steep, the story mode to do more progress here. Of course, there's still a lot for me to do around here. If we take a look at the progress meter, we're 59% through this whole map. Uh, and today we're actually gonna be focusing on the bounty hunt. So that'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna move over to Aeron over this way, and he should be able to give us some hints on where we're going to go. Protege, successor, friend, welcome. Glad you're here, protege. There's more bounty hunter training to do. Seamount Steep is part of Neighborville where the only law is there are is that there are laws. But zombies don't respect that, especially my three bounties. Here's my Mount Steep hunting license. Find and collect all three bounties for a reward. Then I can retire to glide on that flat on the flat winds above, completely flat wind. Yes. All right. Uh I have wings so I'm my own wing plant. Okay. Can I talk to you again? Maybe you can give me some hints. Bommy Dearest will rush to blow you up first. How rude. Vanquish him last to show him the value of patience. And where exactly is that? I don't know if it'll actually show us on the map, but we should take a look. Oh no, it does. All right, so there is one over this way. This is Bounty Hunt, so it doesn't actually say who it is. We're just gonna move over this way and find out together because I don't think it matters which one we do in what order. And we're just gonna go for it and hopefully the Bounty Hunts turn out well. Um, I know there's still a couple more chests left to find. Hopefully we can find those at the end of today's episode if we have some extra time. I haven't been, the, been to Mount Steep in a little while, so this'll be fun. And going down this way, there are plenty of zombies to fight. Uh, but I don't have to worry about them too much. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave them be. So it's somewhere up here. Yeah, I saw it. Hold on. Uh, nice. And let's try this one out. This one is tiny. All right, uh, I have a feeling he's not gonna be tiny. Uh, stop uh, from reaching goal. Oh, it's a gargantuar. Tiny goes for a walk. So let's go ahead and throw a chili bean bomb down and will it actually fall down though? That's a question, it sort of did. Okay, so obviously he's being made invincible by his friends over this way. We need to put a stop to them. I can't hit them from this angle, that's not good. Uh, I don't know exactly where he's trying to get to, but as you can see on the top, there's like a little meter telling, telling me that he's close to his goal or at least getting closer. And that's not what we want. So right now he actually doesn't have any defenders. I don't know if more will pop up soon, but if we just keep attacking, oh yeah, here comes more. Okay, let's quickly reload, because he's already almost halfway there. Wow, that happened fast. They hurt. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go for it. He's gonna attack me, but I'm gonna attack him right back. Oh boy, he's backing up, because he knows he's in trouble. Wow, he's moving fast. He's moving real fast. Okay, wait, come back. Wow, why is he moving so quick now? I gotta do this quick. Oh, no, not good. Vent on a succulent, what does that mean? Oh, probably because I beat up a cactus. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got it, bounty collected. That wasn't too bad. Um, All right, so 10,000 coins, we get some uh, sheriff badges. Not too many though. Oh wait, there we go, 25 of them. All right, pretty cool. Let's skedaddle before they get me because we need to move on to our next bounty hunt now. Uh, if we take a look, uh, that will be over this way. So we actually have quite a lot of sheriff badges. We have 716 of them. So I'll have to keep spending that. At the end of today's episode, we'll spend some more sheriff badges. That'll be cool. Um, but for right now, please don't hit me. Ah, he got me pretty good shot there. Um, but yeah, that was actually really quick. I'm glad that we were able to get the first one done so easily. Over this way, we got a couple of uh, chests as well. Yeah, it's good to be making progress with the story mode again. It's been a while since I've done this, and I still have a lot to do. Of course, we've got to complete Mount Steep, and then after this, we need to do the Zombie Town Center, so there's a lot on our plate when it comes to uh, completing story mode, and it'll definitely be worth it for all the different collectibles we get. Okay, so we're still a little bit off. Of course, we've already done the, the uh, challenges here, so don't have to worry about that too much. But over this way, if we uh, speed up a little bit, maybe. Oh, hello. There's some, already some people here waiting for me. We can throw the chili bean bomb down. I don't know if it's that useful or not. Oh, it just kept rolling, so that's not good. Okay, got it. So this is Bommy Dearest. So we need to attack Bommy Dearest last, apparently. I don't know which one's Bommy Dearest. Uh, Dearest goes last. Okay, oh, I think that there's probably a gargantuar with a bomb. Okay, I understand now. So let's attack everybody else first. Gotcha. So really the big thing here is sort of beating the clock. Because it doesn't look like Bombardier is just trying to get anywhere specific. 
Okay, that already hurts, though. Got it. So we got another group over this way. If I can run over real fast and toss this, and then I don't know if I wanna get this figured out, but I'll try it. Oh, I can't quite see them right now. Thank you. Awesome. Oh no, a little bit more. Hey, watch it. Oh no, oh no. Oh wait, what happened? Why, why? Did I, did he, oh he must have, oh I see, he got too close to me and he exploded. So that's something I gotta keep in mind. So let's wait a couple of seconds before we set that back up again. Good to keep that in mind though. So let's try that again, ready? Starting it up. And we will fight everybody else first, of course, because it wasn't a timer thing. Yeah, mind your manners, it says on the bottom left. I don't know exactly what it means, but I think it just means pay attention to where he is. He's sort of just roaming around right now. Doesn't seem to care very much. But once he gets closer, we gotta pay attention to that. So he makes some pretty booming footsteps as well, so if we listen to that, we should be fine. Where are they? They're all over here. Okay. Can you get out of here? Thank you. Okay. Over this way, we got a couple more guys to take out. Got it. And that one. And I think there's, yeah, one last dude over this way. Come on. No. Really? Okay, if you say so, that one was a little silly. I guess you just, well, I was just close enough to him for it to go off. That's sort of a shame. I wonder if there's anything over there. Can we make that jump? No, there's like a wall. There's a wall that blocks you. Ah, oh, ha, ha. I got all excited. Ooh, there's one of these. Okay, we need to find these for our mission later. All right, level six achieved for the pea shooter. That's cool, we already have him at uh, Grandmaster One, so let's try this again. Maybe we'll start with like something like the Gatling. And just hope he doesn't move over here, I suppose. Okay, well, not the best angle for that, unfortunately. Oh, now you hop up, huh? All right, well, let's get rid of you. Maybe I'll change classes. If this one doesn't work out, we'll change classes. Maybe to like uh, Snapdragon's probably our best bet. Where, oh no, he's here, he's here. Ooh, ooh, that was close. I really gotta start paying attention to that. So we still have, after this guy, 10 more enemies to take out. Man, my aim is just not working out so well for me. Like, what is going on there? <laughs> okay, so you're way over here, let's toss this down just like that. That should do some good work, I would hope. I can't see a darn thing now. Ah, uh, okay, okay. If I get vanquished, I don't know if that's the end of the world or not. Okay, throw out another one of these. Cause that'll damage him, but it won't get rid of him. Oh no, that's an explosive. I saw that. He's really trying to move right towards me too, which stinks. Hard to do much about that. I swear he's sort of picking up the pace. Oh no. Let's reload. Ah, the smoke clouds make it all so much more treacherous. Ah, oh, not a porta potty zombie. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Got it. All right, uh, it's hard to hit him, but also not, oh, there we go. Hitting that guy. Where is he going? Why is he just walking away? Don't you walk away from me. We have unfinished business. There we go. Okay, so all we gotta do now is fight him. Vanquish Bomby Dearest. Go crazy on him. Go crazy, he's holding up his, he's like, no. <laughs> yeah, don't you dare. Got him, there we go, bounty collected. That one was tougher, for sure. A lot a lot more challenging. Um, and that's 10,000 coins, another 25 sheriff badges. I appreciate it. So challenge number three, bounty hunt number three. How is this one gonna go? Guess we'll have to go and find out. So over this way, wh what do we got going on? It's 300 meters away, so we have a bit of a walk. Oh man. Ow. That's not good. Okay, there's too many people here, we're leaving. We're going home, <laughs> we're turning this car around. So I guess just over this way, yeah, I think I, I might know where it is. Out of memory from seeing it before. 
Should be down here and then in the cave. It's weird that it keeps going here because this is where the map ends in like multiplayer. But it just keeps going here. Okay, so it's down this way. Across the cheese, very nice. Am I getting closer? Yes, I am. You have to sort of go the long way around. But this will be a perfect placement to start looking for chests after we're done with this one because definitely got a couple more of those left to find. Uh, I'm going to ignore you and see if maybe that works out for me. Uh, so, hunt ninjimp knockoffs. Okay, oh, you don't disappear when I start the bounty? That's sort of lame. All right, let's get rid of this guy then, first and foremost. Defeat the true ninja. So you can see that probably the true ninja is the one that is attacking me. What? No? Why not? I might have to go back to Aeron for some advice on this one. It might have been because of pea shooter splash damage I attacked multiple or something. I might want to set the Gatling P. But yeah, how am I supposed to know? Oh, I see, we got it. Okay, now they're all attacking me. So it's you. Ah, oh, but that splash damage is gonna be a problem. So let's go ahead and respawn as a different character because I was attacking the real one there, but it just like didn't work. Let's do Colonel Corn. If I need a direct hit kind of thing, that's gonna be our best bet. So let's set that back up. It's sort of a bit of a far walk, but we'll figure it out. Ready, set, jump. Yeah, okay. And we'll throw the butter on them right away just to make it even easier to take them out, I would hope. So which one is the real one? It's going to be you. Wait, yeah. He's got the face mask on. You'll also have a huge amount of health. Okay, I know which one's real, but just getting to them is a pain. Is this like the entire mission though? Is just getting, oh man, okay. So which one is real this time? It's you, the one front and center. The problem is your health got refilled. Okay, that's really tough. It's not about defeating you that's difficult, it's about not defeating anybody else. Wow, I don't know if I like that very much. That is not gonna be easy. Okay, I gotta get rid of all these guys because that, if not, they will be getting rid of me. Come on. I'm so used to pea shooter right now. Got him. Don't you dare hit me with that. The problem is you defeat some, more show up. There, just leave me alone. Trying to do some bounties. Okay, back to it. It has to be this one. No. I don't like how they walk in front of each other like that. Okay, so he disappeared, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be back to full health again. I mean, sort of the trick to this one, you don't even have to look at their details. If you look, one of them will have a really high health bar. While the other ones will not. No, you don't. Butter. Ooh, oh, almost, almost. It was much better than the last time, though. There's another couple of them running over this way. Once again, which one has the most intim intimidating health bar? It would be you, sir. And like, it goes well for a bit, but then eventually, one walks in front of the other, and I accidentally vanqu vanquish them. I don't know how I like that very much. Like, how are you supposed to do that? Like it definitely has to be done with Colonel Corn or somebody with a very direct shot. Anybody else is not gonna work out very well. So this is not going so well. I have one health. I'm gonna let my auto restore hopefully kick in before we go for him again. Cause it's this one, it's this guy. Oh boy. And then they all crowd up, but I know we can do it. He's so low on health. But now they're all like together like this. I think this might be the last group of them too because his health is getting very low. So come on, come on, come on. Let it kick back in. Get some of those coins, because why not? I just need to be in a position where I can take a lot of damage. <laughs> where are they all going? Okay, so I see where he is, right? No, I have no clue, I've lost him. I have lost him. Which one is he? What, 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 it, it. I have no clue where to go. He's not any of these guys. Okay, wait, he's over here. Oh my gosh, there we go, bounty collected. Ninjimp knockoffs completed. That one was the toughest one out of the group for sure, but that was all three of the bounty hunts done, 10,000 coins collected and everything. Um, awesome stuff. We're gonna teleport back home. I wanna talk to Aaron again and sort of see what he has to say. Okay, this is a bit of a far cry from home, but if we do see, 
over here. Three out of three, so we're now we jump from 59 to 64% complete. That's pretty nice. And uh, where is the shop? It should be right here. Yep. Sergeant Peel. Um, let's let's talk to you, see what's going on. So we have 815 different things. Let's go ahead and buy some of these. They're expensive, but they're worth it. 200 uh, sheriff badges right there. Another 200 right here. You got it. And 200 for the fondue pot locations. You know what, sure, why not? So we're down to 215, but that's where we can get some other stuff like the cheese, please. Victory Slab, you bet. I love cheese. Uh, down this way we have a cheese platter rose spectrum hat. Wow, I like it. Has all the different fruits and stuff and a little uh, cutter so that you can have like little slices of stuff. Um, I like that one too. So cheese platter, you got it. So we're down to 40, so I don't think we can quite afford anything else, but I did want to take a look at what else is available. Um, so we've got some pretty cool stuff coming up. I love this costume. This is an item set, but look at that hat. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's wonderful. Um, well, I think this is, maybe this isn't a set. No, it definitely is. It doesn't say anywhere, but maybe because I don't have enough badges. That's a really cool looking one. We also have the Lawful Good set. This is obviously Sergeant Peel and the Blue Bull. That one's awesome as well. I'm really excited for all of these. Um, we'll keep working up on it though. Uh, for right now, I wanna spend the rest of today's episode getting the rest of the normal brown chests because we actually have quite a few of those to get. If we take a look um, over this way, we have quite a few we're, we're looking for. So let's head towards it. First off though, I do wanna swing by Aaron again and see if he has anything new to say. So that's this way. And I won't be super duper worried about getting rid of enemies. If I end up taking out a couple just like this, then awesome. I'll grab the badges for it and everything, but we're gonna keep moving. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, how are we doing with the experience for Colonel Coin? He's almost level eight. What is happening? I don't know. Also, we almost have our next prize bulb. So lots of cool stuff has gone on. Some of you have been asking when I plan on doing another spending spree, by the way. If you don't know, with each spending spree, I've tried to increase the amount by a million coins, really so far. So I've done three spending sprees. The last one was three million coins. So the next one should be four million. So I'm a little long ways off. We're at 2.7. Uh, you're a Cypher Sore Eyes. Hoopla and hooray, you did all the Mount Steep bounties. The reward I promised you is coming in, a, in for a landing. Finally, I can retire, but I'll see you around. Action is my thing. Plenty of action in the sky, punching rain clouds and vanquishing um snow clouds. Anyhow, get out of here, get out of out there and show zombies how stemers do it. Uh, all right. So I think that we already got the reward. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him again. Um. I think we already got the reward. Every time we complete the bounty, it gives us some extra stuff. Oh wait, no wait, fifty sheriff badges collected. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. And twenty-five thousand coins. Awesome. So that's actually really good. So we're back up to 90, and 25,000 coins is really nice. There we go, and gotcha. So where's gonna be the first chest we're looking for? It looks like over here, we don't have too many left to get. If we take a look at our progress for the brown chests, we have four more left. So it shouldn't take us too much work, but then we'll be all finished up for today's episode. But it is good to get back to Mount Steep, get more things done. Just haven't done it in a little while. Whoop. So we're going that way for now. Ooh. Okay, sir. You wanna go like that, huh? So be it. So it looks like it's over this way. Oh, I hope I can make this. Oh, ho, 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 that was good. Oh no. There's people everywhere, though. This place is crawling with zombies. Okay, just a little bit more. Because I can't like ignore the ability to be able to get some sheriff tokens, you know? It's so useful to do, because we climb up just slowly every little bit. Oh, look at this good bundle of them, these crates. See, it looks like we're going this way. I don't know exactly where this chest is, but that's why we have it pinpointed. It should tell us exactly where it is, so hopefully it won't be too bad to find. Uh, oh, down this way. So basically the same direction I was going for that last bounty hunt. It was somewhere in this room, I suppose. Got it. See you guys. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, up here, okay. You got it. Yeah, just chilling up here. So this is chest number one of four. What will be inside? 
15,000 coins, not bad. We also get experience for just simply opening the chest, so pretty nice stuff. And we get a prize bulb for that, awesome. So I guess we just filled up that meter all the way. There we go. They were not being very nice there. So I'm glad we were able to get rid of them. So where's the next one? The next closest one is right over this way. But first we gotta pick up all these sheriff stars that have been dropped, the sheriff badges. Yo, we're climbing pretty quick, we're already at 108. If we just keep at it and we're just active about it, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, it's just right up here. Oh, I almost missed it. So chest number two has 50 sheriff badges. That's really good. Okay, so these guys down here have to go. And there should just be another chest right across the way. So actually, the, these have all been very close to each other. I could have gotten these after doing the ninja thing. I guess I was just being silly. You know, a skirmish is probably get, going to break out here in a moment. We gotta be careful of that. I mean, it's not a problem for one to break out, but it's not very convenient for what we're trying to do. Got it. There's just so many. Too many. Yeah. All right, so right up this way, as you can see, we just need to jump, jump, jump. Yeah. Chest number three. It has 50 more sheriff badges. We actually might be able to spend a little bit more by the end of today's episode. Uh, so last chest is actually a little bit farther away. We need to go, oh gosh, into the cheese. Very painful. Hmm, oh, got some more chests. I'm happy with the progress we made for today's, today's episode too, even though it's not been a very long one. Oh, is it in this little cave? Yes, it probably is. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to need the uh, the flies, the mouse flies. I hope not, because this is like a very fancy gnomus area. I don't know if we've ever actually been here before. It's cool, I love it. Oh no, oh no. Gotta use the pain of the cheese to get me up here. All right, final chest right here. This is gonna be 10,000 coins. Not as much as the other one, but very nice. And we'll be collecting golden, gnome, golden gnomes very soon. Wild, wild chests instead of Wild West. Oh, we get 30 more sheriff badges for doing that. Oh, what is this about? I don't know. Whoa. Okay, I guess we activated the Gnome Shrine because we have one of them. There's two more to do, the phone is ringing, so we'll have to figure all of that out super soon. We've got a couple of Golden Gnomes, as you can see, but there's still plenty more left to get, so let's keep working on that in some upcoming episodes, for sure. How many sheriff badges do we have now? 253, we jumped up quick. So, we do have enough for this. Yeah, and it's part of the masked pickle set. We have enough for some of, I gotta go with the hat first. It's too cute. You can't deny a hat that cute. All right, then that's the pickle topper. We also, or the prickle topper. We also have the uh, prickle peepers. <laughs> what a tongue twister. There we go, prickle peepers. Uh, two more of those guys will need another 250 uh, sheriff badges at some point. We'll earn it up over time for sure. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.